Hello guys, welcome to my channel Mr. Jefferson 105. On today's video, I am going to be showing you how to derive and do the maths behind understanding boost converters and book converters. I think these circuits are very essential for any kind of um, a step up and a step down voltages, so from 5 volts to 12 volts or from 12 volts to 5 volts and so on. Uh, they are very very useful and I think knowing the maths behind them it makes you understand better on how to build them and what to do okay so now let's go into the step down converter okay the step down so the step down and the way I remember it is by remembering SDL because you have the switch, the diode and the inductor remember that the switch is the transistor and then something that we need to, and the equations that we need to remember is that the time on is equals to KTP and the time off is equals to 1 minus KTP okay and then the circuit diagram will go as such so we have the switch, then we have the diode, and then we have the inductor. Also, after the inductor we'll have a capacitor, and before the switch we also have another capacitor. Okay, and then we have this as V out, and we put an arrow here, and that's our V in. This is S, this is C in. This is C out, this is the diode, and this is the inductor. Okay, every single time when you derive any kind of equations like this, do an schematic like that, so then you know how to work out, because you don't really need to learn the derivations. By just looking at the, at the schematics, you can derive the whole thing. Okay, so on the on switch, and then on the off switch. Make a line okay so similar to the previous one that we did uh, we we know that the voltage of the inductor so di over dt is equals to and then for the off is di over dt equals to something okay for, for this one if we close the switch so represented by the red one so if that switch is closed then the flow of the voltage is going to go that way through the inductor and charge up the capacitor right that will be on the close yeah so then we know that this is going to be VI minus VO okay now on the off side on the off time represented by the blue pen we know that if this is open there is nothing that can work in this side because that is open so therefore no voltage or current can flow this way but in this section it can't because it's a closed loop and the, the magnetic field is stored on the inductor it, it needs to discharge somehow so it can discharge going through this loop okay so so the, for that reason is V out in this side so we get V out in there okay so the next step is similar to previous to the previous one so it's delta is L D I over D no sorry delta I, L delta I a KTP equals to VI minus VO for the off for the off period will be L delta I over 1 minus KTP equals to V out okay and then we rearrange that to get the delta i. So 
so we can equate them later on so delta i is equals to vi minus vo in brackets ktp over l because it's the inductor in this side it will be similar so we have delta i is equals to 1 minus k tp v out over l so this side goes up and the inductor because it's multiplying goes down so l at the bottom next step will be to get rid of the tp and the l as what we did before so l goes tp goes l goes and tp goes so now what we left with is delta i is equals to is equals to vi minus vo close bracket k and in this side we left with a 1 minus k equals to the delta i v out okay so the next step will be to expand these brackets out so for the own time with k times vi is going to be vi k minus v out times k and this is all equals to delta i and then we we'll do the same in this side and what we get is delta i is equals to v out 1 times v out is v out and minus v out k because v out times minus k is v out k okay so now what we do we equate these two sides equals to that side and then we copy them down so b i so v i k minus v o k is equals to v o minus v o k this is equals to okay as we, as we can see here we have a minus v o k and a minus v o k so if we move this one to that side that will be positive and that one will be negative so therefore the two cancel out straight away so these two cancel out and we are left with v i k v out because we were in terms of v out over v in this is going to be equals to v out over v in and we left with k which is our duty ratio and this is what we need to figure out later on in questions if we have any okay in terms of the power as before what we did so we know that p out is equals to p in which is equals to i out v out equals to i in v in and then and then we know that if we want to get into this format of v out over v in then this is equals to v out over v in and then we have left i in over i out okay so this will be equals also to i in over i out okay so as you can see guys it's quite a long derivation for the thing for this thing but it can be done it's very easy to learn so let's go now into the voltage ripples okay the voltage ripple then it will be so voltage ripple okay so voltage ripple so we have delta v out is going to be equals to delta charge over the capacitor and this is going to be equals to 1 over the capacitor out times delta i tp which is the time period over 8 okay so this is so now we need to combine these equations to work out the final equation 
that will all these three things will make so we for delta i we need to use the off time because it is the v out that we want to work out so we need to know we know that delta i is equal to from the previous equation that we worked out is 1 minus k dp v out over l right so now we know so what we have to do now is combine all three and see what we what we get so overall the delta v out is going to be equals to so the first thing is on the top line we have a 1 here so that one can stay anything times by 1 is going to be the same thing so we have a delta i and delta i is represented by all this top line so we make a line and we know that this is going to be a 1 minus k dp v out okay so that's that on the top on the bottom we have a c out so c out there we have the number 8 so we copy the number 8 and we have the l but we also what we also have in this equation is another tp combined with this tp that makes tp squared so then we have a tp squared also we need to know that if c out is really high then this will prevent the ripple which is very which is something what we need sometimes because you don't want to be that your circuit or your system to, to have lots of noise so having so finding a way of getting rid of that ripple then is very handy and is useful and as before if you want to, if you are given a, like a percentage on a question or something like that then we can do delta v out over v out is equals to 1 minus k dp squared over c out 8l okay and that is it that is your voltage ripples so thank you very much guys for watching this video i hope all these equations have been very helpful for you and thank you very much and I'll see you soon